Young Percival, no more than 15, from the safety of the thicket, watched the knights pass by. He perceived they served a higher calling, a calling he felt stirring within him. Percival asked his mother permission to journey to King Arthur's court and seek knighthood. His mother had long feared this moment would come, sailor. Nonetheless, she gave her son blessing to pursue his quest. But she warned him he would be tested beyond imagination, be deprived, no pain and sadness, perhaps never become a knight. Percival traveled to King Arthur's court. There he met rebuke and ridicule for he was not of noble birth, nor did he possess skill of arms. In secret, he studied the ways of the knights. His plight caught the eye of Sir Lancelot, who began to mentor him. During Percival's ordeal, the Red Knight, an incarnate of darkness, sought to destroy the Grail. He lay waste to King Arthur's knights, one by one. Finally, it fell upon slender Percival to face the Red Knight. And sailor, Percival had no fear. His years of hardship had taught him how to suffer. He was ready in body, mind, and spirit. He would prove, in life or death, his worthiness in battle. Percival went forth with joy in his heart, for this was what he wanted, to be an instrument of peace, to be able to sacrifice all in service of God and man. I got one or two good fights left in me, right, Ma? No, you are used up and broken. I've never been knocked down. <laughs> That's why you're broken. A man should know when to go down. You don't. You never did. I never. 
never should have said it to you. So what? That I want to go to Ireland before he comes. He didn't, I did. You are such a liar. Anyways, Lou's his purse recovered. <laughs> oh, I see you're aiming high. Father Brennan wants to talk to you. About what? And don't say God. About what's coming. I'm not afraid. You should pass in the state of grace, Mom. You still believe, don't you? Yeah, I do. How can you? After what he did to you. Only a monster takes the innocent. If there is a God, it's a monster. A doer of evil and wicked things. I will not seek grace from a monster. Nor will a monster give it. Will you talk to Father Brennan? Maybe. If he takes off his robes and shoves a crucifix up his arse, maybe. Nice one. <laughs> I'll ask him to see what he says. Good. Have you gone to see Albright? Will he be there with you? He can't be there. Why not? He's busy at Safe Harbor. Oh, I see. He's a good man. If he was a good man, he would talk you out of this fight. No one's gonna talk me out of the fight, Ma. Ten rounds, you gotta listen to me, will you? Every time you hit the ropes, you drop in your right hand. You say it like that. Keep your head on his right shoulder. Can't you do that for me? Yeah. It's time for you to put this old man down. Though. Do it now, yeah? Yes, sir. No more fooling around. It's enough of this nonsense. You're a young man and fast. Put him down so we can go home, right? Let's take a look, Taylor. How's that eye? Good, Doc. It's good. You sure? Yeah. All right. Albright, that opens up anymore. I'm gonna stop the fight. I'll do my best, Doc. Do the best you can. All right. Hey, hey, King's fine. You check that old man over there. He ain't so fine. Back off, Cubby. <laughs> Looking better than Sailor. I'm fine. Didn't think you could take a punch. I could take a punch. <laughs> You're proving it, kid. You better get up close so you can do some damage, okay? Concentrate. I want to have it. You don't know what that means. Yes, I do. No, you don't. That means work. It means money. I can make money. How? I can box. I have some modeling jobs, too. We're too young. Too young for what? To have a baby. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I want to marry you. I want to marry you right now. This morning. And I'll take care of you. We have a family. I've never had that before. Pinky Lerner. Let's have our baby.
Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. I want to give this baby something besides life. Mm. I want to give it something it can be proud of. You keep him at a distance with that jab. You dance around, huh? The man throws them wild hooks, you know? Duck. Stop. You cannot win a fight laying on a guy, okay? So let's win it. You cannot outmuscle this kid. You cannot outfight him. And you cannot win him. But you outweigh him and you cannot think him. Let's yeah. outthink him. You want to win it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You get heavier than him. Lay on him. Yeah. Keep your head on the right side. Yeah. Let the kid get cocky. Listen to me. Hey, hey. What are you doing? The hell's the matter? You want to win the goddamn fight? Listen to me. Yeah. Keep your head on the right shoulder. Don't right. you feel that rhythm? All right, Set up to drop step. Cross him, okay? Covey, and what's this I hear about King? Oh, I'm gonna get the kid another chance. King is a screw up. No, 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 he's all cleaned up now. The kid does have talent, real talent. Yeah, he's always had talent. I poured a lot of money into him, and he got a habit to go with that talent. Yeah, well, he's going to have a baby. There's a disaster waiting to happen. And he got married. He's a nice young girl. You know he is my fighter before he stole him from me. Not steal him. Hey, look. You've got that knight coming up at lion head, right? Yeah. I want you to get King of Fight there. Yeah. Well, maybe as an undercard. No, 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 no. The main event. What? The King is no main event. Yes, he is. I'll put up the purse, man. $10,000. 10 rounds. You really think he has his head on you? Yes, 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 yes. All right, I'll take a piece of him. No, 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 no. <laughs> he doesn't like you. I'll take 50% yeah, of him. not for sale. Hey, look, you know he was my fighter before you took him. I didn't steal him. Hey, you know why all your fighters leave you, man? Huh? Because you steal him from me. Yeah. Same reason why your wife left you. The same reason <laughs> why I left you. Just give me a piece of the kid. Hey, look. You lined up something for King, huh? Now, someone uh, the kid could handle, huh? More than just a warm body, but somebody he could beat, huh? Let me get local, uh, I don't want to be at the expense of uh, bringing somebody in here. What about Charlie Sims? Nah, he's in prison. Armed robbery. Teddy Bigfoot? Teddy Bigfoot? <laughs> Teddy Bigfoot, man. He's a lot of Bigfoot, man. He's 350 pounds now. <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot, yeah. <sighs> How about Sailor O'Connor? Sailor? Yeah. Is he still fighting? No, but it might not really matter. I mean, if I could get him to take one more fight. People loved him. Yeah, he was very popular. And everybody wanted to see if he's going to get knocked down. Yeah. And every fighter wanted to be the first to knock yeah, him down. That's a good hook, man. Man, it'd be big if King could knock Sailor down. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, we're by King. I'll talk to Sailor. Yeah. Hey, I want a piece of the kid. Not going to happen, man. Well, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Why should we bother to go see the doctor? What's there to talk about? If you're dying, you're dying. I know I'm dying. How do you know? <laughs> Tell me you wouldn't know if you were rotting from the inside out. It's cancer. Cancer, rot, no difference. Ma. Oh, don't get all melancholy on me. I think it'd be good if you and I went and saw a doctor together. Yeah, well, you go see him if you want. Ma, oh, there may be some pain. How long did he say I have? Ma. Oh. oh, don't be such a baby. 
How long did he say I have? Six months. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for what? No one's getting out alive. Is there anything I can do for you? Um, it might be nice to take one last trip to Ireland before it comes. That'd be nice. Maybe you and me. Yeah. She's been in for five years. She's asked me to be there for her parole hearing. You gonna go? I don't know. I've gotten to know her a lot better through the letters that she sent me. She wants to speak with you if she gets out. I can't do that. You can try. Sean, I don't have it in me. Sailor, her loss is as great as yours. Is it? I'm sorry. Loss can't be measured. No, no, it can't. Do you want her to continue to suffer? Do you want her to continue to suffer? Yeah, I think I do. Don't you think she suffered enough? Sean, sure. I thought we agreed. You, you can't measure suffering. Do you have no pity for her? You know, uh, my mom has a saying about pity. Pity arrests the heart and unites it with those who wronged us. I need to go see Rose. Don't do any good. She's a war with God. You taking confessions today, Father? You have nothing to confess other than what we just talked about. I'm remorseful, yes. I don't know what that means. Really means. I violated the most basic and primary of relationships. Destroyed the lives that were entrusted to me. I'm a ghost. Haunting of what's left of life. Until there is no life. But the pain I suffer is nothing compared to the pain I caused. They're pushing! 
Quit pushing that thing. We should not let him do this. It's time to get it. Thank you again for seeing me. You know, the mayor has got an election coming up and he would really love to have your support. Thanks. Well, you tell him to come see me himself. Well, you know, the mayor, he's a, he's a very busy man. Oh, oh, well. Thank God. Thank God that I have absolutely nothing to do. And the truth is, I don't believe in politics. You don't? Well, what do you believe in, then? I believe in uh, the luxuries of life. Food, shelter, clothing. You know? You tell your mayor that, and then tell him come talk to me, okay? On your mind. I got a fight coming up. You got a what? A fight. A fight? Uh, I thought we left it all behind. It's just one fight. You feeling uh, some need to get punished because I'll take a hammer, be you with it, if that's what you'd like? No. Well, then why? You, you, you feel you gotta prove something to somebody? Huh? No. No. So, why? I miss him. Okay, well, I mean, you know, I miss it too. But um, I don't miss getting my face busted up. Mikey, it, it ain't the same for me. What ain't the same? Life, life as a civilian. So, so, um, when you get in the ring, you feel more civilized, isn't it? It's the fight I know. Well, I mean, there's just, there's a lot of fights out there, a lot of them. I mean, if that's what you want. We got a lot we can find. I'm suited to this one. Well, I could argue that. You reckon ain't that good, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's the truth. <laughs> Even when I lost, I... I knew who I was. I, I was a fighter. Uh, look, let's just cut the bullshit. I, I, um... I mean, the bottom line is I just, I really don't want you to fight again, okay? I'd like you in my corner. I can't, man. I just can't do that. I'll get ready. I can't do that either. You've always been there, baby. I always will be. But I don't have to be there to watch you get destroyed. I don't need that. I've never been knocked down. Well, that's great. That's great. We'll keep it like that, okay? Just... Just one more. One more fight. I love you, man. I do. I love you, and I do not see the need. I told you the need. You didn't tell me shit. What'd you tell me? I didn't get knocked down. That's what you told me. What, do you want to prolong this or extend this stupid, idiotic legacy you got? That's what you told me. I can't do this without you. <sighs> Please, man, just don't do this to me, okay? I need your help on this. Jesus. I just, I just can't. I just... I just can't.
What you doing here, Eddie? I want to talk. About what? A fight. Look, you want to fight? I haven't had a fight in four years. It's a long time. Look, it doesn't matter. You got a reputation. 63 fights never knocked down. That's right. Yeah, and a lot of people would pay to just see someone knock you down. Come on, sailor, you don't tell me you don't miss it. Yeah, I miss it. Who would I be fighting? He's a kid. His name is King Solomon. Never heard of him. Cubby likes him. What's with Cubby? That was Cubby. Ah, oh, he's good. But look, I used to have this kid. And he's gonna be mine before the fight. What about you? You got management? Does it look like I got management? <laughs> <laughs> I could line you up with some stuff. I don't think so. This kid good? No, he's a pretty good fighter. Look, he's got nice moves, but he can't take a punch. I think you can beat him. Look, you go out on a win. That's the way to go out. Worst case scenario, Loser's purse is two grand. Four. For what? Four thousand. Three. Four. Come on, when's the last time you made four grand for a fight? Never. Exactly. Eddie, you're a good promoter. You'll make a lot of money out of this. Four thousand. All right, deal. Four grand. Yeah, Mama? Come here. Hey, where you been? Mama miss you. With Peg. Is she getting your money or are you free fucking her? I just came to get my stuff. Mama, I'm leaving. Leaving where? Here. You're just like him. You're just like your father. No. Oh, I'm not at all. Yeah, you are. You're a fucking... 
fucking take her. You just fucking take and take and take. I used to be something. I used to have a face. I used to have tits. It all for you. Now what do I got, King? Now what do I got? I don't know. Look at this fucking shithole. You gonna go and see? Bobby, that modeling stuff. I'm scared. Bobby will take care of you. I'm never coming back, Mama. He'll be back. He'll be back. <laughs> Look, you old man. I want to talk a minute. Mind if I don't listen? <laughs> oh God. I've been watching you and you're looking pretty good. You're training hard, showing discipline. I like what I see. I'm just glad I put you on the card at the line head. Cubby got me on that card. No, I did. And I could put you on bigger cards than Cubby can. I'm with Kobe. You used to be with me. Used to be. You owe me, and you know it. Look, I could take you places that Cubby can't. You want real fights and real purses, right? I hear you got a family coming, and you want to take care of them the best way you can. You're gonna need money for that. You don't want to end up being a deadbeat nigger dad. <laughs> Never will be. It's good. You know, this fight is important to you. If you can knock down Sailor, you got a name for yourself. No one has ever knocked him down. I'm not going to knock him down. I'm going to knock him the fuck out. Yeah. See, I like that enthusiasm. You know, you're gonna win a lot of money in this game. Just gotta be with the right person who knows how to play it. And you do, right? What can I say? I'm with Cubby. Think about it. I'll give you money to train, money to live on, and I'll move you up quick. All you gotta do is leave Cubby after the fight. I'm with Cubby. Don't be stupid. All right. Be stupid. Not 
I'll tell you what. You're not worth my time or my money. Sailor, how you doing? He's doing great, thanks. I'm talking to Sailor. You don't look good. How many fingers? Two. How many fingers? Two. He said two. Box like that again, takes a shit kicking like that, I'm stopping the fight. Listen, do me a favor. I gotta do something here, all right, Gordy? Mike, I'll stop the fight. I got you. Gordo! Gordo! We need to stop the fight. Father, sit down. You need to stop this fight. Father, please, just stop the fight. Father, sit down. Please, we know how this is gonna end, Gordo. Double up on the left hand. Double up on the left hand. Yeah. Keep busy on it. Don't lay on him. Yeah. Make him push you. Make him push you. Wear him out, all right? Yeah. You're letting that old man shame you. Disgusting. You're young, strong, and fast. Yo, King, baby, you're late. It's time to take off your clothes and get that dick hard. Am I right? Am I right? What is it, King? What is it? What's the matter? You need a fluffer? Come on, buddy. I got two hot chicks here for you. Let's go. Come on. Let's do this, huh? Can't do this. What do you mean you can't? It's only going to take about an hour. I already paid your mom the money. She's your problem. What are you doing, King? King, you're killing me here, buddy. You're killing me! You go down, and you watch on your job, all right? Simon, right. Simon. Hey, hey, You got to remember what I told you now. You got to close up your stance a little bit so you have a balance, huh? What are you doing here? I need a fight. I need to make some money. You can make money other ways. I like fighting. Ah, nobody's saying likes fighting. I'm saying and I like it and I'm good. But you can't take a punch. I can take a punch, I just don't like to. Ah, that's right. Get me a fight, please. What do you want that money for, your drugs? Oh, that's over. Are you sure? It's over. My girl's pregnant. I mean, my wife is pregnant. Are you married? Yeah. Are you an idiot? I, uh, how old are you now, 19? 20. 20, ah. Uh, how old is she? What's her name? Peg, she's 18. Babies, having babies. Well, she's gonna be a good mom, I know she's she gonna is. be a good mom and you're gonna be a good daddy too, right? Yeah. Cubby, I can fight. I can be somebody. Go be somebody with somebody else and let me be, huh? You know I can fight. You know if you have the heart or the head. Just give me a shot. And you had your shot! You know what you did before, huh? Sorry about before. I know I disappointed you. I, I didn't know better. No, you got that right. Can you please just give me another chance? Hey! I mean, you watch your stance, huh? You gotta put your left. I told you not to be so wide, huh? Close up your stance, huh? And you keep your left in his face, huh? Hey, kid! Hey! You're not going to play out on me this time, are you? Hmm? Are you going to stick to it? Train? Come to the gym on time? Yeah, I promise. You know, you know I got talent. Yeah, but are you willing to put in the hard yards? 
give me a fight, you'll see. Hey. If you fail me this time, and look at me. If you fail me this time, it's over. Huh? You got it? I got it. All right. Not just against my better judgment, but uh, I will give you a fight. Right? Thanks, Cubby. It won't be much. It's okay. I just... I just need something to get me going again. Sailor's got a fight coming up. Yeah, yeah, I know. He can't do it. No, but uh, I'm betting you're gonna be in his corner, all right? What am I gonna do? It's Sailor, him and me. I mean, you could try talking to him. Did you? Yes, I did. You, you know what this is all about. Well, I don't know. He told me he missed it. Yeah, well, that's all I good, but. Uh, it's his mother. His mom's dying. Huh. It's kind of convenient for her. Rose wants to visit the old country again before she passes. He gets four grand, even if he loses. Yeah, but I mean, you and I could put up that money for him and he, he wouldn't take it. Well, you tried already? I offered him money. I said, all you gotta do is come by the shop a couple times a week. Tell stories to the guys, and he goes, no, I don't take handouts. Are you a religious man? What do you ask? Oh, just to see if you reside in that papist camp of blind obedience. <laughs> well, no, no, not, uh, not especially religious. Oh, but they call you Brother Albright. Oh, yeah, well. I sound of the harbor, it's uh, more of a term of affection, you know, she can just, hey brother, hey bro, you know, that's all. What do you do down there? We, um, just a group of people that do service. Service? Service, uh, you know, helping others in need. Well, that's much better than religion. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, um, yeah, thanks. Sailor, uh, there's another fight lined up. I know. And uh, he wants me to be in the corner. He said you couldn't do it. Probably more correct is you don't want to do it. That would be correct. You don't want him to fight again, do you? No, 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 no. And I don't suppose you do either. Oh, certainly not. God only knows why his brains aren't scrambled. Hmm. <laughs> um, Rose, I, uh, I hope I'm not talking on a turn here, but uh, Max told me that the reason he's taking the fight is because he wants to take you to Ireland. No need to be delicate. He wants to take me to Ireland before I die. I got it, but... See, the thing is that uh, Max and I could easily, easily cover that trip. Well, Sailor would never go for it, nor would I. But I would appreciate it if you and Max would be in my boy's corner. You gonna be in the fight? Oh, I've never seen one of Sailor's fights. Never will. 64 fights. This will be a 64th fight. My boy has a terrible record, doesn't he? Yes, man, he does. <laughs> but the man has never been down. Never. Ah, uh, but you see, a man should know when to go down. A man should know when to quit. Yes, you think he should. But your boy, I mean, the guy is, um, I just never see anything like it. 
I mean, I thought I was tough, but I'm, I'm like Tinkerbell or something. I mean, I mean, I seen him get hit with the, with hammers. With, I mean, and it would kill an elephant. He just will not go down. I just don't believe it, and I don't get it. Yeah, well, when he was um, a little boy, about ten. We were driving in the car. His father had been drinking. He started hitting me hard. My mouth shut? Yes, your mouth shut. The boy's in the back. Ah! Dad! You think I don't know the kid's in the back seat? You, you need help. You know what I need? For you to shut up! Oh, Dad! Oh, Dad! Oh, get off! Oh, oh, get off! Oh, get off! His father slammed his head against the side window. So hard, cracked a glass. The sailor passed out. George hit me some more. And then he threw us both out of the car. When sailor came to, we were at the side of the road. It wasn't your fault. My face was a mess. Are you okay? He said he was okay, but he really wasn't. Sailor vowed it would never happen again. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Or maybe he's just got a stupid Irish head made of pig iron. But my boy's got sand, that's for sure. Yes, he does. Um, what happened to your husband? I don't know. He left the day it happened. I never saw him again. Never heard from him. Sorry. Oh, there's no need to be. Please just be in my boy's corner. Yes, ma'am. Max and I will be here. And you tell him when it's time. You got that? You tell him when it's time. Because, well, Sailor just doesn't know. No mirror, not now. Oh, 
Are you okay? I, I'm pregnant. It's okay. I'm a doctor. How far? Fourth month. I should get you out of here. I need to get you in an ambulance. Come on. Come with me. It's okay. Come on. Hey, that old man is missing you pretty good. You didn't let him get away with that? Huh? What's the smell about? You got nothing to smile about. Uh, I ever like being pretty. He ain't pretty no more. Best not to take any chances. King Solomon's my baby's daddy. The young guy fighting? Yeah. We just got married. I don't have a ring yet, but he says he's he's gonna get me a nice one after he wins the fight. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh. Why are you here? Sailor O'Connor, the guy your husband's fighting. The old guy. Yeah. What's your name? Peg. Peg, I'm Diane. Hmm. You got kids with Sailor? No. Not with Sailor. Yes. <gasps> Seems to be the problem. Preterm contraction. She's in her second trimester. Mm -hmm. Do you have a heart monitor? You a doctor? Yes. Okay. No need to do this, okay? There's no need to go on. We can end this with dignity. You understand? With dignity. Still got the record. Yeah, I still haven't gone down. We can, please, we can. I don't want to do this, Mike. We can do this, Mike. What for? You still got the record. You haven't gone down yet. I ain't going down, Mike. Well, if you go down, you might not get up. Okay? And if you go down, I think I'll kick your ass. How's that? All right. All right. Love you, Mike. I'm telling you, the last Mike, one. Mike, Mike, I love you, Mike. I love you too. Okay, tough guy. Normal sinus rhythm. Hemodynamically stable. Peg, if this were me, I would go to the hospital just for some extra testing, okay? I'm okay. Really, I'm... I gotta see the end of the fight. I must say, Rose, I'm a tad uncomfortable. What? Sitting in the home of a woman who despises your god? I have a crucifix up my arse. Those were the conditions under which you agreed to meet me, Rose, hmm? You know, a man in your profession shouldn't joke about having something up your butt. Sorry, quite right. Do you know the old limerick? Which limerick would that be? The altar boy, the altar boy, the dirty little beast. He filled his ass with broken glass and circumcised the priest. <laughs> That's a sad commentary on what's befallen a most noble calling. How do you handle such things? Such things? Well, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You know, a priest once told me he tied his hands up with his rosary every night before he went to bed so he couldn't masturbate while sleeping. And why did he tell you that? I was a young girl at the time. I cut a bit of a skirt I did in my day. No doubt. I think he wanted to get up under that skirt. Just wanted to talk sexy and try and get me going. Uh. Tell me, you're a relatively young, seemingly virile man who I am assuming has all parts yet fully functioning? Yes, as far as I know. Oh, more's a pity then. Rose, uh, I'm just a little embarrassed here. I'm not here to talk about my sex life. 
Well, here's hoping there's something to talk about. Rose. Um, Sailor's quite concerned about you. Sailor should be concerned about himself. You know what he's gone and done, don't you? You're talking about the fight. Is that what you're calling it? What are you calling it? My son is an old man. No, he's not that old. He's... No. He's old and you know it. This won't be a fight. Sure will be. He's very tough. He's in terrific shape. You know why he's taking it, don't you? Yes. He wants to take you to Ireland. One more visit for you. That's not it. He may think that's it, but it's not. What do you think the reason is? Guilt. Guilt. About. Being alive. wrong can a person do before before they've used up whatever good is inside them I mean what I did Diane God can be far worse than us. He can do more damage, cause more pain and suffering, provide us with more temptation than anything in the universe, and yet we sin and he doesn't. I'm not quite sure how that works. Boxing is a younger man's sport, always has been, and quite frankly, you're not as young as you used to be. Now you're strong as a bull. But if you're taking this fight to make the money, take Rose to Ireland, there are other ways. So is Big that sales. You old timer. Hey! You know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna knock you the fuck out. That's who I am. Yeah, I know who you are. I hope you punish me. I hope you knock me down, I really do. And I, I hope you uh, knock some sense into this old man. That would be my wish. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Do you have kids? No, you're too young. I have one on the way. That's a beautiful thing. It really is, right, Sean? Yes, it is. You know, I held my son as he took his final breath. I didn't have an answer for him. 
I will do my best, as will you. Now get the fuck out of here. You okay? How long? Five years. Eleven months. Twenty-seven days. So, how did you come to this? Bad relationship? Did anyone tell you about the three rings of a relationship? The engagement ring, the wedding ring, and the suffering. Sorry. Bad joke. What you did. What we do is never really done. And what you got in that glass, it won't help. It's not the answer. You know that. Because we all been there. Sailor, I I came here because I, uh, you were deceitful. Without the slightest consideration. A mother. A monster. So, so sorry. You knew you were sick. Why didn't you say come? Help was around you every day. Why? Why didn't you say come?
now that you're better, you want my forgiveness. No. Diane, Diane. Please. Get out of here. spent the rest of my life trying to make up for what I did. For the pain I caused you. It caused my family. I see the hate in your eyes. I deserve it. You don't. With each breath I take, I, I hate myself enough for the both of us. I'm not asking for forgiveness. Contrary to the teachings of your faith, there... There are things that are unforgivable. But I will not have you consumed by hate. So you... You pray to your... To your God for your... For your loss, for your... Salvation, but for theirs. Did you ask him to help you find a way out of your hate? But don't you ever pray for me. enough, don't you? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer them a new prize. Twelve grand to the loser. Two grand more than the winner's purse. What do you say? What do you say, sailor? Hey, get them out of the ring. Get that piece of shit out of there. It's the biggest purse of your life. All you got to do is lie down and the money's yours. Get out of the ring. Get out of here. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. What's the matter with you? No. Oh, my gosh. What about you, King? I hear you got a baby coming soon. All you got to do is just lie down. Yeah. And I know you are a loser. $12,000 to the loser. Oh. Don't do this, Ed. Don't do this. Do not do this. Yeah, you want to mess up the king's career, yeah? You're jealous. But you lost the hunt. You lost it. You $12,000 to your loser. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. You piece of shit. 
I'm done with you all. I'm out of here. Let's pray. Father in heaven, please protect Brother Sailor tonight. Amen. 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 And protect Brother King tonight as well. Amen. Amen. stupid. Gotta knock him down. All right. If you want to knock him down, you work on his body. God knows what his head is made of, but it's sure ain't skin and bone. I knock him down. You kill the body, and the head dies. You hear me? Kill the body, and the head will die. All right. Time, kid. Hey, hey. I want you to know that I'm proud of what you become, boy. Okay, let's go, guys. That's enough, bud. That's enough. That's enough. The sailor left his mud, man. Oh, the sailor's gonna go down for the first time in the history that sailor's gonna die. Now is your shot, man. Now is your shot. You go get him. Get him, man. It's your shot. For life. Shut up. I like you doing good, buddy. It's all over, okay? It's all over. One more round. You your kidneys are gone. What is the matter with you? What are you, nuts? What's the point? You couldn't beat this guy with a baseball bat, okay? You got another L in the column. Big deal. You're still standing, right? You've never been down. What the hell is the point? You swore on my mom's head. I would never quit, Mikey. I promised. You're good to go, Sailor. All right, you let the doctor decide. You sit. Hey, Gordy, you being doc, please. Look at me. Sailor. Sailor, look at me. You okay? 
I'm good, Doc. Sail, you're taking too many shots. I'm gonna stop it. One more round, Doc, please. One more round. All right, what do you think? I got no opinion. Last round, Doc. Last round, please. I hope I don't hate myself later for this. You won't. You have to watch me close. Knock him on his butt! Shut up! Or you're gonna be famous, man! Shut up! What do you mean, shut up? I shut up! This is your turn, man. You don't care what you say, you get your butt up there and put your sailor down.
I'm proud of you. Good fight. You're a good kid. You know what? You're the toughest son of a bitch I know. Thank you. Yeah, you're also the dumbest son of a bitch I know. Diane. 